Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Nabil and I will tell the theory for our lab session. Uh, drum brake is a brake system that uses friction caused by a set of shoes or pad that press again a rotating drum shape part called a brake drum. The, the term drum brake usually means a brake in which shoe press on the inner surface inner surface of the drum. The drum is pinched between two shoes similar to a conventional disc brake. It is sometimes called a pinched drum brake. The brake assembly attached to a steering knuckle as a housing or spread spindle assembly. All the cars and trucks have drum brake at all wheel, four wheel. No more vehicle nowadays only use uh, drum brake at, at the rear side. Brake shoes are made of metal. In this slide, you can see the above figure shows the part for the drum brake. I will give you the name for each part of the drum brake. First is wheel cylinder, then back plate, parking lever, anchor, lining, trailing shoe, adjuster lever, shoes hold spring, leading shoe, return spring. That's all the part uh, you must know inside the drum brake. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Arifuman bin Masabri. Today uh, I will explaining about the procedure on lap 5, the drum brake. So we were talking about the safety and regulation during the lap session. So it is advised for us to wear safety boots because we are dealing with sharp and heavy objects and then uh, you must wear a lab jacket during the lab session so the procedure contains three parts that is uh, firstly the the assemble the assembly of uh, the drum bag itself we dismantle all the parts and then the second one we will do an inspection on all the parts and then the lastly, we will assemble back the drum brake parts and make sure it will work properly. Okay, without further ado, we continue with the procedure lab video. Okay, okay. Mr. Nabil will check out the car from the back. Make sure the this one, touch this one, and then you check. My desires, my heart overflows. The only direction that I'll ever need is the deeper connection that's leading me. And I'm lost in your love when you hold me. Just hold me. Okay, what you wanna do today? Yeah. I wanna see this up. Sing it, sing it, tabo, tabo,
Kau selalu buka? Kau jalan Ini lah Jadi <laughs> oh. namanya oh, apa? Lah, ini dulu lah Ini namanya apa bang? Uh, Dead Drop Betul Kau <laughs> so, dia guna untuk aim rate je lah function dia hmm. Oh iya So nak buka Nak buka dia punya hub ni ha? Kamu kena keluarkan Kuluh empat ni ha. Ha. Baru boleh dia keluar semua Dia akan keluar semua ha. Pakai gun ni gun 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 Boleh boleh Gun pick Kalau tak kan ni dia ikat Gun pick ni tak Tak apa ni 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 Ni sangkut tu. Bila nak pasang nanti kamu tengok dia punya ni Sebab ni straight line kan hmm. Ni ada bonggol Sebab kalau Ayah. kamu salah Dia akan tak, tak, tak boleh masuk lah bot ni nanti Oh faham Sebab kan? Oh faham ah, Nampak ni straight line faham, faham. Okay. Barai Barai kan dia Ukur Haa ada ukur dia boleh tu Tak ada Eh fix Betul Kumpang 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 sebelah Sebelum kumpang Kumpang kita pasang pasang Ya, yeah, betul. Eh, ini kita buat. Ini minyak. Ini tiba ya guna. Ni mana yang cokel lo tak nampak pun. Sini eh. Mana yang cokel lo? Pasal dia dia cokel dulu nak gerak ke spring mesti nak gerak ke ni. Ni untuk loose. Ni untuk loose, untuk tight, faham. Mamang so, so first kita ni ah lumba ganda dah ni. Kau 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 bagi ni. Man, nombor dia. Ha. Ah. Ya aku. Afiq nombor dia ni dia pi. Tu yang atas yang ni, tu yang bawah yang atas tu. Ni bed plate Bed drum Okay, 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 okay Eh, ni Bernia, bernia, bernia angkut Haa, angkut
Break jalan Drum in the bedroom, 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 in the and lining spin. SMD spin. Huh? The tennis spin. Shoe spin. Shoe spin. One is shoe spin. Oh, this is piston. This one is piston. One good condition. Okay, this one. What is this one? It's a double. This is a spin. Bring shoes, yeah. bring this spring. Can you do the spring? Do the spring again? Do the spring? Shoe spring, yeah, Shoe spring. Okay, this one is Already? what we call a shoe spring. Yeah, so we have to open them. It's in good condition. So the piston. Piston also in good condition. And then lastly, the plate. The plate. So it's a bit messy around here, but Break as long down. as I can tell, it's in, in good condition. Break shoe down? Huh? Break shoe. So only a break shoe. The break shoe, we have the uh, two. One on the outside and one on the bottom. So how we determine the condition of the shoe is we measure the measure the thickness of the shoe if it's under 4 mm uh, around 4 mm under we must change the all the brake shoe nice. to have the optimum braking performance okay that's all for me Adi. okay next we gonna check uh, the shoe and lining eh no we want to check the Effectiveness of the brake shoe inside the brake drum. Acha <laughs> around the brake drum. Okay, around. Okay, how we wanna check if the brake shoe is okay or not? Uh, after we put the chuck, we put the brake shoe inside, and then we scratch inside, 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 inside on then, uh, and then we look at the surface of the brake shoe. With the all the surface touch the chalk. If not, then there is something wrong with this brake shoe and need to be replaced. For example, for example, Afi, Mr. Afi is gonna show a demonstration. Okay. Okay, so we see around the corner of the brake shoe all intact. Okay, so uh, it's, I think it's, it's good condition. But it's, we still need to replace. But we have no, no money, we tie. Okay, now we are uh, doing pemasangan. Kita kurang lighting ah. Oh, Jadi pasal dia dulu eh. What a crumb is all I've known Faded black shades of white and grey Until you colored my day I was saying solutions Saturated shades and so I'm
Senang aku juga Senang kameraman Kamera tu Okay Kita dah tari ni Tertangkap Bola kan Bola Hey kameraman Ini Ajas Ajas ni lah Kasih dia break Kuat tak kuat Dah habis panggil Syami Ajas Gambar-gambar Banyak mana Cepat Ni lah kompang Ajas ni Ejas ni kan kau kena try Kena pusing kan Kena pusing ke Kataya Dah pasang lagi Pasang lagi Pasang dulu lah Eh pasang ni mana yang hitam ni Bawah tu Bawah Lain lagi Lain macam ni Pasang dia punya disk Buka tayar Ada dah memang sini Tapi kalau kereta dia sini keras pun nak buka Dia ni tak ada minyak apa ni Ini perdana V6 Oh ya Perdana V6 Lepas tu terang masuk rim Memang kepal terus ni bukan kepal Ambil Dia ada punya Eh apa pasang ni tak Kaliper Terus masuk tayar lah Bel Yang mana ni tak jejak lah
Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Muhammad Anil Ashraf and I will be presenting the result of the this report. First of all, I will name all the, the, uh, the drum break part. Number one is the drum. Number two is parking lever return spring. Number three, return spring. Number four, adjuster lever. Number five, adjuster assembly. Number six is uh, return spring. Number seven, shoe hold down retainer. Number eight is shoes shoe hold spring. Number nine is adjuster assembly hold spring. Number ten is the shoe lining. Number eleven is parking lever assembly. And number twelve is uh, C clip. Thirteen is spring washer. Fourteen parking lever. Fifteen is shoe web. 16 shoe hold down pin, 17 is brake line, 18 handbrake cable, 19 is uh, wheel bearing, number 20 is back plate. Then the condition of the drum brake. All important component of the drum brake is in a good condition, such as the brake drum itself, the retainer spring, both shoe to shoe spring, the piston and also the shoe and lining. Upon inspection of drum brake part, all part is in within the safe dimension as the brake lining thickness is 2.35 mm, while shoe and lining assembly thickness is 4.63 mm and the brake drum inside diameter is within the manufacturer maximum diameter which is 167.68 mm Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Amar Afizan Kambin Tegafi uh, Now I will explain the, uh, the discussion part Okay, first uh, there is for question Okay, for the question one based on your finding what is the condition of brake shoe lining? Should it be replaced with a new shoe lining? Okay, so we have record the result uh, from the test, which is uh, we put the chuck on the uh, shoe lining and we rub towards uh, the friction material, uh, which is uh, we can see the chuck waste uh, on the shoe lining uh, is in good uh, condition. Uh, even there is some spot does not have the chalk waste it because of minor defect but still not required to replace. Okay, so for the second uh, question, explain your result of the drum brake inside diameter. So uh, in this test, we have test uh, four uh, spot uh, for each the uh, inner diameter of drum brake, uh, and we have record the data. And the data is slightly different. Uh, it shows that the braking system occur in good condition because all the diameter for each test uh, is have almost near result. Okay, so for the third question, if deep crack from on the drum brake, uh, can it be repaired? Okay, so uh, deep crack on the drum brake happen because of uh, excessive heating and cooling on the brake drum operation. Uh, if it's happened, it needs to replace immediately and cannot be repaired because if the crack uh, drum brake continuously use, it may damage the driver and cause uh, brake system faulty. Okay, so for the last is what is the advantage for drum brake uh, compared to this brake? Okay, so I will uh, explain uh, there is three advantage uh, for drum brake compared to the disc brake. Firstly, it provides uh, more braking force than the disc brake. And secondly, uh, it lasts longer because uh, it increases friction contact area uh, compared to disc brake, which is uh, disc brake, it consists of circle friction material and the disc brake only at the caliper head. Okay, so the lastly, uh, drum brake is uh, good compared to this brake because of low cost uh, due to the 
manufacture of the drum brake is cheaper than the disc brake. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Siwais Nazbi and I'll be presenting the conclusion of this lab report. Uh, from this lab session, we have gained the knowledge of inspections towards the condition of the drums uh, brake assembly. Um, from taking of the drum brake and disassemble and inspect every part of the drum brakes and reassemble all the pieces back together. From our inspection of the drum brakes, the overall result shows that uh, the drum brake is in a good condition even though the looks of the drum brake is a little bit rusty. Overall, the drum is still usable and we decided not to change any part of the drum brake. Lastly, for drum brake and drum brake disc, they both have their own advantages and limitations. The drum brake is good for parking but it's not that efficient when using it while driving because the drum brake design uh, making it the not easily to discharge any heat and causing it to overheat but brake disc is a good to use while driving but it does discharge it very quickly thus making it contract while in parking and causing the brake to slip therefore both of the brake have their own advantages that needs to be considered when choosing which kind of the brake is better for the vehicle thank you